This is Leon. <clears throat> I want to talk about a fear that was uh, more prominent in the past. Um, but it still has been a prominent factor, and that is the fear of stuttering. My speech impediment is actually fear and embarrassment. Uh, my speech impediment started when I was in kindergarten. Uh, I was in kindergarten and I asked myself, you know, uh, why am I speaking like this? What's going on? And so therefore, uh, that is when I found out that I had a speech impediment. My parents and elders within my family informed me that when you grow older, it will disappear. That has not been the case for me. Uh, <clears throat> so, I found when I, you know, when... I speak with certain people that I do not know, you know, uh, when I want to say something specific, then I may or may not stutter, but when it comes on, now this is actually in the present days, when it comes on, then I just... I just speak with no, with no uh, holding back, you know. Uh, there are still times when uh, I just don't talk to a person because uh, I know that I will stutter. And so therefore, sometimes uh, within my present Days, uh, sometimes I do have that desire to not stutter because of the belief that if I do not stutter, then I will I will be able to speak with a lot more people uh, t to be able to speak with them and not have any type of hindrance of mental of mental thoughts about what ifs, what if I have a speech impediment, what would they think, and stuff like that, um, uh, so, um, I, I did, when I was actually speaking with one individual that I didn't know, then I spoke with them, um, I was actually talking to them about a specific product. I informed her that I have a speech impediment. And so I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to say everything that is involved. In, uh, and I'm not going to say anything of what this product is about because of I have a speech impediment. Just call this number and it will inform you. So basically, <coughs> I don't, um, what I am actually going to do is simply not become subject to my speech impediment, simply speak and communicate with others without fear or embarrassment, because the fear and embarrassment points are self-judgment points that are formed from within and as self, <coughs> within a certain construct of the past, fear of becoming less than based on one's own judgments about what has been defined as more than and less than within self. And so therefore I have some points of judgment of what I perceive as more than less than. I perceive people that are able to speak with clarity as more than, and people that uh, 
un are unable to speak with clarity, such as me, or considered less than, and uh, so um, thus I need to equalize myself with those words more than less than. Equalize myself with it because uh, in order to create such points of self-judgment, one has to s perceive themselves separate from even the words more than or less than, let alone the form, shapes of others, the communication points of others, the... Uh, <clears throat> personality points of other individuals and stuff like that, uh, creating relationships with these points and forms and colors and thus forming judgments based on comparison within comparing one's own communication skills with another body's or another individual's communication skills. Uh, so, uh, the fear of, of not one, uh, well, the fear of actually speaking, basically, is, is what this is, and so I just have to accept and allow myself to move out of this construct, out of this fear, and simply move myself into a position of self-direction instead of being subject to um, my own voice. Thank you.